When we think of sugars or carbohydrates, we often think of the simple kinds in our diet, like glucose and starch. But did you know that every cell in our bodies is decorated with a vast and complex array of sugars? These sugars on our cells are crucial for cells to communicate with one another and the environment. Our bodies need these sugars, known to scientists as glycans, to stay healthy and to fight disease. In fact, glycans have been found on every type of known organism on the planet. We can think of glycans as a type of sugar language that our cells can use to send and receive messages. Without this sugar language, the human body would not function. What many people don't know is that many diseases take advantage of the glycans in our body, resulting in major health problems and sometimes even death. At Griffith University's Institute for Glycomics, our scientists are working to better understand the role of glycans in the development of diseases so that we can better diagnose, treat and prevent diseases such as cancers and diseases caused by deadly pathogens such as parasites, bacteria and viruses. Let's take a virus like influenza, which causes the flu as an example. The influenza virus uses a protein on its surface to latch onto glycans. The flu can become dangerous when it spreads to tissues in the body, and that's why it's important to treat this virus as early as possible or prevent infection completely. Proteins on the surface of the virus latch onto glycans. Once bound, the virus then infiltrates the cell and begins to replicate. Virus progeny then emerge from the infected cell and seek to infect other nearby cells in our body, ultimately overwhelming the body with infection. Researchers at the Institute for Glycomics focus on the role that these sugars play in disease and using that knowledge, invent new drugs, vaccines and diagnostics to treat, prevent or diagnose diseases in the hope to save millions of lives globally.